Hello, how's everybody doing today? This is Sean, and uh, I was recording a little while ago, and I opened up a box of the basic uh, basketball. It just came out, and uh, as I was recording, I guess I didn't have enough time on there, so it stopped. So we opened this up, and that was uh, just now. That's why I'm wearing gloves. And I opened up a pack of Prism, which I was telling you folks earlier. I bought extra packs of these. In my other video and hold on to them the same with this i opened a pack of those so we had one box and two packs of these and um the box it was just fire okay uh pulling out tracy mcgrady old school refractor you know just badass it's not numbered but really cool stuff in this product very cool it is expensive on the internet, and you'll see why, because you get these badass cards. People are going to send these things in to get graded. No doubt that will be happening, and, you know, $10 card will be 50, 60, 10s in these. From what I've seen, they're packed pretty decently, but there are. You have to be very careful opening these packs, and I got a LeBron. The LeBron is not, you know, uh, it's just a standard one. Pretty cool, very cool card. So got that, and then, and um, this is out of one box, by the way. Just one box, two LeBrons, a Tracy McGrady, and um, and my man Shaq Green, and then um MVP. This is not executive. This is the one that comes out of Walmart. It is a hobby version. It is worth money, a lot of money, and. Of course, Zion Williams, this is just the beginning of this guy. Uh, I was like, oh my God. Out of one pack, I got Zion Williams, Tracy McGrady, and LeBron James. <laughs> I was like, oh, it, that was the first pack. And it just didn't get any better than that. And then uh, these beautiful cards in there, they're pink ones. Just beautiful. Just beautiful product. Uh, I like them. I would personally... We'll get some of these graded, and of course, my man, I was like, no way, Akeem, you know, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Hall of Fame card, same as Shaq, this is the pink version, okay, not numbered, that I see, don't see no numbers on it, beautiful card, that would be something I'd send out also, but wait, there's more, I, um, there's my man, and then, wait a minute, that's out, that's out of the packs, let me get the, here we go. Um, you know, really cool inserts. Really cool inserts. James Harding. Very, very cool inserts. Very cool. And, you know, there's a rookie card. I haven't really looked at any of these guys up yet. I know there's are, there are big cards besides Zion. And, uh, and then also first appearance of Doom Doom in this type of card. Um, it's going to end up like... Tops Chrome, I mean, uh, Tops Optics. It's a newer way of them doing this card. I think this is the first time they did this type because they are, do not have a license to product uh, use the NBA. Uh, some weird stuff. Some guy was telling me about it. Um, and, you know, my man, Austin Rivers. I like his dad, Doc. I think this kid's funny. And I seen him one time where his dad was trying to get him to get a technical, and he was just about laughing at his dad he's like, "You're real, really? Come on!" But it was pretty funny. This is a really cool green rookie card of Boston Celtics player, uh, Tremont uh, Waters. It looks like very cool card. And then out of the prism, huh, out of the prism packs, my man. Zion Williams. Uh, this is a special insert card that you get, the special packs. And it's called a Pulsar. And just beautiful card. This, as soon as I pull it, right one touched it. Obviously, gloves on, you know. And then, no, 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 there's more. <laughs> In the same pack, <laughs> another Pulsar. Of uh, of my man here, Crusades. Now there is a different version of this. It just has the Crusar, which that is cool in itself too. This is the Pulsar version. This is the the special pack that you get. So and that looks like the back of it. 
Holy mackerel, right? Right, right. You're like, oh man, what a day. And that's the back of the other prism, the other side of that one. Very cool cards. Very, very cool. Highly, highly sought out cards. There's more, my friends. And then, uh, I even hate to put this guy aside like this because I think he's a great player. But <laughs> here's my man, RJ Barrett. So I get a Barrett hit also out of the prism. So I have three packs. I got all that stuff, which is a lot. And just to show you what the, I got to do this quickly because I don't want time run out. Just to look at, show you what the standard cards look like. And then obviously you got Hall of Famers. I put them somewhere in here. All these have penny sleeves on them, by the way. But what the standard cards look like are pretty cool definitely uh, a set you could put together and I have doubles already of this so I will see what goes on hit me up we'll do a trade or something but I do have doubles and when I believe me when I get these you get if you do a trade with me and get card they will not they'll be immaculate I will bet every card I send out unless there's something wrong inside the penny sleeve it, they all come back at least 8.5s and 9s or better you know that's how i deal with these cards uh, i always deal with it like that i lost my ass off on an optics in like 2017 i traded a bunch of top end optics it didn't even occur to me that it was the first year of optics it just was like oh so these aren't my favorite players oh these are hall of fame cards see nice carl malone and then james Harden, and then you know then I'm like, you know, this is the first year, Sean, of uh, tops, uh, optics and stuff. So, yeah, now um, I've learned my lesson and I'm a little more uh, observant of history, you know, because they are historical cards. If you're into collecting, these are sometimes, uh, I'm not saying that this is one of them. I'm not sure. I was told that these cards right now, that's why they're so expensive, are the first style they've ever come out like this except for these they've had these crusades a lot but with pulsars and things like that it's uh the way they're doing them is just different and the players obviously zion williams barrett and my man Murat over there um they all are rookie cards in here and the same with lebron and kobe bryant i mean i anybody noticed that when you looked at the card god bless uh, kobe's soul god bless him um but he LeBron and uh, Kobe in the first time optics, so it's like it's like a LeBron rookie card. It's the same as uh, you know Mike uh, Michael Jordan in Tops ninety two, first time he appeared in Tops. The LeBron is a little different because it's actually guarding a guy, or the guy's guarding him, or watching LeBron actually dunk the ball because he's not even in a play really. He just happens to be a bystander, and him being a Hall of Fame player. And winning championships for the Lakers. Then Kobe going, I mean, the LeBron going to the Lakers. You know, there's a lot of history there. So it's a historic card, basically. And that's why people are selling it at that price. So that's where we're at on that. You know what I mean? So that's why some of these cards are very expensive. Uh, do I agree with it? Uh, I don't know what to think about it. I don't have enough information on it. But it would be something, you know, you would not, you're not going to stop that from happening, okay? That's going to happen as long as we collect cards. There are always going to be these types of things that are going on. And this is why I suggest when you buy stuff that's hot, just put a pack aside, you know, for yourself. And what I do is, as I told you before, if I find, you know, four packs, I'd buy four packs of these, four packs of those. And so, you know, I'd keep... Uh, a pack for myself one of each and then i'd open a pack for the channel you know and then i would sell sell the other two or maybe keep two packs and then open another pack for the channel and then sell one but one of them are going to get sold um that's the way it is uh, that way i get my money back and two other people can experience what i'm doing you know i don't want to be greedy and yeah there may be autographs and whatever okay if it's meant to be for me to do that and find it god will always provide that for me but if it's meant for somebody else to find that, then God provided that for that time. And, you know, being greedy and holding on to stuff, it keeps people from, uh, other people from, uh, you know, fulfilling their dreams, too, of wanting to find a special card. And this is a blessing in myself. I don't even have to open up any more cards of this series anymore. <laughs> I mean, I got two LeBron James, my man Tracy McGrady, my man Shaq, my man Williams, 
my man Williams, my man Williams, and I found I didn't have a little. I ran out of little things to put stuff on. I was like, holy mackerel! And then um, you know, <laughs> couldn't put my man there. We'll scooch him over here. Barrett, you know, gave the man credit. Great point guard, good player. And there's one more other card I forgot. Hit one so much. An autograph. Got an autograph out of this thing too. Don't really know much about this dude, but I tell you, I got his rookie cards. I got fabric cards of this fella. Um, you know, haven't really seen him play much. Uh, I know he's. I heard he's really good about. You know, he's good for you know what he does or whatever. But just uh, he does. I don't think. This may sell because crack ice is a special scripts. It says scripts on it. I don't know. Not numbered, but it is badass. So definitely going to my collection or I'll put it up for sale. But a lot of these cards are probably going to be posted on my eBay account because, like I said, I don't collect everything. And there are nice rookies in here from, from, from Prism, you know, really immaculate condition. And other people need them for their set like i got doubles of these fellas you know what i mean and i got a binder and i mean two binders of this uh stuff but in baseball <laughs> you know all all whole whole two binders so yeah i do trades try to make it to where everybody can have whatever and yes there is extremely and i can't emphasize enough extreme elite amount of money that could be made off of these cards if they're PSA. For sure. All of these pulsars and stuff, I don't care who's on them. You know, they come back tens. And um they're they're short they're the shortest print in the whole thing. Okay, they made the less least amount of these cards than they did any of the other cards in there, and there's and that's saying a lot for nowadays times. Even the inserts. You know, if you're a fan, fan of Hardy, uh, Harden, and you get, man, these are nice inserts. Same with my man, Lord, you, you know, you're a fan of him. You get a few of these cards. Um, oops, thank goodness that's in a thing. You get a few of these cards come back to 10, and you're the only person that has a 10 in that card. I guarantee you'll get 100 bucks for it. Just saying. So that's where I'm at on that, and that's the way it is. It's never going to change. It's only going to get... Worse or, you know, more organized. <laughs> so, enjoy these things. I like the Masatic, uh, Masatic, uh, stuff. I do. It's pretty badass. I love the inserts. Also love the Prism. Pretty badass. All both products get 100% on me. I love optics. And this is just as good or better because I do love these inserts. They are badass. You know, the Prism is pretty badass Pulsar. You can't really enjoy it because you can't really see it in real life. How shiny. Look at that. That is beautiful. It's artwork to me, you know. Not numbered. But in my opinion, I'm going to get a lot of grief for this. This fella is going to make, it is going to be, it has given me better stats than, than Shaq. Uh, and then, um, then LeBron or uh, uh, most of the top players right now. He stays healthy, doesn't get in trouble. He's going to get better and better and better. And his way of playing is um, unique and very, you'll see. Uh, Pelicans, uh, you know, they will be a team to reckon with if he stays on that team and they build around him. But if, let's say, Pelicans want to trade him and take let him go to Chicago or some team that's, I would never send him to the Knicks. Uh, R.J. Barrett has to get out of the... I mean, it's just... Um, that's a mess over there. But if you got these two, Barrett and, 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 and you know, somehow worked it out where Williams and Barrett are on the same team, Cleveland, some team that just needs an extra push, even Philadelphia with Ben Simmons and, and Illid, oh, Bud, oh, my God. They would be unstoppable. Say, okay, Ben Simmons can move the small forward, and then you got my man Barrett running point, and... And obviously, uh, you know, it would just be, it would be very, uh, it'd be a very tough team to beat, I'll put it that way. But let me tell, let me, let me know what you think about this stuff. What's your opinion? Tell me if you got a box, you opened it up, let me know what you hit. And my next video, I will be talking about, well, not the next one, but the, I, I'm talking to my friend about, um, let me talk to my friend about the, the giveaway or contest. 
So I will uh, get that updated and I promise I will get the information out to you, to everybody, and we will have a fun contest. And maybe I will send one of these cards to you during, uh, you know, uh, uh, as a as a as a gift also along with the contest warning you never know i do things that you know these are expensive cards expensive cards um over 40 50 dollars a piece these cards that i pulled out just on ebay nobody even psa them yet and i know these cards are immaculate unless they came out of the pack messed up gloves one touch one touch paisley paisley everything's paisley that's how i do it and then if I sell my collection to people, they know they get good stuff and then other stuff that's not worth penny sleeving, I still keep that in good shape also. So my suggestion is if you like these products, go buy two of them, sell one, keep one, or buy three, open one, keep one, and sell one, and get your money back and see how it works out for you. Alright, so let me know what you think. You can if you can find them. <laughs> I mean they're um, they're gone. I haven't found them anywhere. I was lucky to find these. Very lucky. There was only four left, and that's exactly what I got. Two boxes. One I opened, one I'm selling. Two packs. One I opened, one I'm selling. And then uh, one I opened, one I'm selling. You know what I mean? So that's how I roll. I like doing it that way. It makes it to where my pockets don't cry, and I get to help my friends with their collection, and I get to have things that I like for my collection. So... Please like and subscribe and tell me what you think about this product. I think it's badass. That's just my opinion. And, uh, you know, uh, until then, uh, just keep doing what you're doing and enjoy your life.